We have a long leader here. We're gonna run around, look for fish. When we find fish, we gotta catch them. Whoa, real close, fast as we can. All right, so what's gonna happen to these fish are gonna leave and we're gonna have to go chase them down in another pocket. So we're gonna get as many as we can. We have a long leader, we got a hook. We find the fish, we're just gonna scatter the rods out. We're gonna use this holder, that holder, maybe a back one, it really doesn't matter. We just gotta get them scattered out here. Uh, open the bait tank, throw baits on, bait in the water. All right, so you got two types of bites. Everybody knows this bite, fish on, right? Here's the one everybody's missing. When we fish so close to the bottom, they grab that bait and they come straight up take all the pressure off the rod and grab the weight with it. So the rod will straighten out. See how it's got a little bow to it? Yep. As soon as it straightens out, boom, that's a bite. Grab the handle, swing your elbow out, start cranking. See how smooth that is? All right, if you don't push your elbow out, that rod does that and you won't get the hook set. Swing it out, good smooth reel. Reel until you can't reel anymore. Couple more times, come straight up. Face your fish. Sometimes you have to get down in the water around this trolling motor, back up and around over there. He'll end up right back there, right where you first hooked him. So just stay with your fish, that's it. Get up to your leader, bring it on up, throw them in a net, take a picture, get another one. Oh, we got doubles. We are doubled up already, folks. We fished for about two minutes. There he is. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. God, these fish are strong. <laughs> oh my gosh. That was awesome. Nice. Doubles. Not real hard, just kind of drop them. Just like that. Get them going. Well, there we go. That didn't take too long. It's about a minute or two into fishing. As you guys can tell, we are not largemouth bass fishing today. I'm out with Striper Steve. Keep in mind, that's one P, not two. And we are on, uh, we're on Lake Lanier, and we are catching stripers with herring. Is that, is that the bait we're using? That's right. yep. So that's a saltwater fish, saltwater bait, catching freshwater, freshwater fish. So that's something I've never done today. Actually, that's what I'm doing. They are saltwater. Wait, stripers are? Stripers are saltwater fish. They're like a, they're kind of like a bull shark. Oh, really? So they, they, can, go they can do both? Absolutely. All right, well, I don't know anything about stripers, obviously. <laughs> this is my first time ever striper fishing. I am here with uh, with family in Georgia, and I uh, had to come out with Georgia Boy, right. see if we can uh, catch some stripers. As you guys can see, we doubled up the first minute of fishing. This should be fun. Big one? I don't, I don't know. You don't? <laughs> it's kind of hard to tell, because yeah. they'll run, and then they kind of come at you, and yeah. you're like, you have no idea how big it is. I think it's a pretty good size one. Yeah, it's probably bigger than my first one. <laughs> Look at that. Crazy. Beautiful. You don't want to see? No. You want a picture of this one, Steve? Or no. Yeah. Cool. Oh, fish on. Oh. You got a back one? Oh, we got doubles. Oh, we got doubles. Here we go. Oh, he came off? All right. Still got mine hooked up here. God, these fish are crazy. Oh, we got another one. <laughs> Watch this fish is swinging. You gotta go with it. Oh, go. Yeah, it's swinging. Oh, this is a good one. Not quite a tarpon, but it's it's up there. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at this. Just like this is crazy. God, these fish are strong. There we go. Oh, he jumped out of the net. <laughs> there he goes. Gosh, these fish. It's like it's crazy. I mean, they're not that big, but they just have so much strength. Yeah. Here we go, another beautiful striper. So you send them in, you just kind of like do a little nose dive. Just right back where he got, came from. All right, we got one fish out of the mega school, or not not even a mega school, just a good school. Still uh, still looking for the mega school. So that's that's what we're looking for. Yes, sir. Those are our baits, the lines? The uh, straight lines are those. Straight, yep. st straight lines are our baits, and those are all fish. Crazy. Yep, we found. Would you consider that a mega school? Is that not even a mega? Nah, not not even a mega school. That's a good school. That's crazy. This is just. This is nuts. Yeah. So, yeah, I think we see the white. found the juice here. It looks like a pretty second. There, that one's gone. That one's gone. Grab it. Grab it. Grab it. Grab it. Grab it. There you go. Get it. Get it. Oh, baby, that was a good one. That's a good one. 
hooked up again. That one, that one that smoked it, dude. I just saw that rod just boom, boom. <laughs> oh my gosh. Absolutely insane. Finally found a school that uh, I'd actually fired eat. Up. Yeah, fired them up. Me net them for you? Yeah. There we go. Nice. <laughs> Absolutely insane, dude. That's a toad. All right, back in the water she goes. Nice. There you go. We on them now, boys. This is awesome. Oh, you're on flare, flare, flare. You're on, you're on, you're on. I didn't even see it. Oh. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Hooked up. Oh, it gets popped off. Shoot! Shoot! There you go! Right away. Right away. That's a good one, too. That's a good one too, right away. Right on the drop. <laughs> oh, that was sick. Oh my gosh. Three cranks up and bam! Smoked it. Absolutely smoked it. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, nice net job, there you go. That was good. Beautiful, beautiful fish. See you buddy. That was crazy. Second to hit the bottom, two cranks, what? bam! Yep. There. That was weird. That was weird. That was the weirdest bite. It didn't pop at all. It just kind of like slowly went down. Slowly went down. Catfish? You think it's a catfish? Yep. You know it's a catfish. It bit so funny. I was like, am I seeing stuff or is this rod going down? <laughs> Bringing the bad luck here. Catching a kitty cat. Oh yeah, I can feel the head shakes. Much different than a, than a striper, for sure. Nasty. Bad luck catfish. Whiskers. Now it's time to go. There's one. Yeah, that's a good one. There you get him. Double. Come around here. There you go. And now you're gonna have to go on top one. God, these fish are freaking nuts. That's a good one. That might be my biggest one. Yeah, that's better. Now we're upgrading. Finally upgraded. God, these, you just so freaking ferocious. Awesome. See you, buddy. Hell yeah. There we go. <laughs> got the, we got the lucky touch up here at the front of the boat. <laughs> God, these things fight so ridiculously hard. Yeah, I thought he was small. I don't think so. I think it's a pretty good one. There we go. That's a good one. That is an upgrade. That's probably about, that's pretty close to the biggest one for me. So you, how much do you think this one weighs? Probably like six to seven, around there. God, crazy. I know, we gotta, gotta catch some, some big ones. Grab it, grab it, grab it. Just showing you guys, look, that is the school we just found. That's a big, that's a big school. Hooked up. Back rod. It was a back rod, not the front rod. Mix things up, I see. All right. 
one up front. We got doubles. We got doubles. All right, if you keep it low, because that trolling motor is on, okay? Okay. It is, it is on. You go way down deep and around that trolling motor. You gotta go way deep. Yep. Out and around. Oh, wow. Good God. I think this is a good one. Hey, Jeff. Yeah, I'm loaded. I think this is a pretty good one. I haven't seen it yet. Oh shoot! All right, net this fish. We got more more rods going. There we go. All right, go reel that fish in. Go reel that fish in. Oh gosh, this is this is pure chaos now. Come on, buddy. There we go. All right, see, buddy. Net. I got you. I got you. Oh, came off. Oh, he popped off. Oh shoot! All right, catch and release. That right there, folks. This is a mega school. What's up? Do this. Why don't you try this? Okay. All right. All right. All right. And lower it slowly. Don't just let it free fall. Okay. Okay. All right. Just let it lower, just like that. Go okay. Ahead. Start letting it lower. When you get down to 80 feet, start cranking like hell. 80 feet. Start cranking like hell. Like just rips up and down. Yeah. Just don't even. Just start cranking. Just start reeling. Okay. All right. All the way to the bottom. Reel it up to 80. This guy right here, if I eat heavy fish. Brand new? Yeah, he just put it on. Gotta go to 80. That rod's on. Oh, no, that's back. Got him, got him. I'm hooked up. You're hooked up? I'm hooked up. Crank, 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 crank. Oh, man, he come off. He come off. All right, just do it. No, he's still there. There's still a fish there. All right, awesome. He got him. There's still a fish. Yeah, he's there. There he is. On the spoon. What? Crazy. This is nuts. This is nuts. Front 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 oh, we're tripled. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, this is a big one. This this is a big one. Oh, you got a nice. Yeah, this is. A... There we go. We got him in the net. Awesome, <laughs> Choke the spoon, dude. Oh my god, that's a good one. Oh, get that spoon down there. He swallowed that. Okay. Oh, is there one up there? There was one up there. Okay. Which one? The one this side? Yeah, right there. Okay, we got another one. Oh my gosh. We just, we just like quadrupled up here. You weren't kidding when you find that mega school, it's like just pure chaos. I know, he just choked, dude. Alright, God. Yeah. I would highly recommend doing this if any of you guys are near Lake Lanier in Georgia. This is in freaking sane. We're getting, we're getting close. Try to keep away from the trolling motor here. There we go. That's a good one too. <laughs> yes, dude. 13 pounds probably. 13 pounder? Teenage fish. On the old spoon. Dirty trick, I like it, all right. See you later, buddy. A few moments later. There, is. there we go. Finally. There we go. It's about time. Sitting there watching them. God, that's freaking awesome. Heck yeah. Nice. That's a good one. There we go. Finally, had a little bit of a rainstorm kind of run run through here. We were looking for looking for the schools. We finally found one. And then we have four rods out and we got lucky. My rod, uh, my rod went off. <laughs> Alright folks, it is now that time. I'm now leaving, headed back to my uncle's house. I brought my girlfriend down here and uh, my mom's down here as well. My uncle Matt loaned me his car, so shout out to him for letting me rock this whip this morning. Got up early, got up around five. It's totally worth it. I didn't really come here to uh, to go fishing. Mainly came here to hang out with family. My uncle lives down here and he's got like a houseboat and some jet skis and whatnot. I was coming down here just for more of a vacation. Uh, but now I reach out to uh, to Georgia Boy. Met him down at, uh, what was that, Florida Tarpon Fishing. You guys saw the, the Guggen Tarpon videos. That He was one of the guys in Scott Martin's boat. So he lives down here and he guides out here. So if you guys want to experience what I did today, I will leave his information down in the description below. I highly recommend it. Like the dude had those fish so dialed in. He'd be like, yep, drop it down. Every single time we drop down, we catch a fish. It was absolutely 
just life changing. I've never even fished for stripers. That was my very first striper I've ever caught in my entire life. And it was just unreal, unreal experience. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching. Had a great time. I'm gonna head back. We're gonna do some some stuff. We're gonna, I think we're gonna go to an aquarium today. We're gonna go to some some Stone Mountain place, and, uh, and then take the jet skis out tomorrow and just kind of relax, just kick it a little bit, and then get back to the grind of bass fishing when I get back next week. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like. If this video gets a lot of likes, I'll come back down here. Maybe bring some of the Guggen Squad guys with me and do another striper episode. Leave a comment down below. Where should I go next? What species do you guys want to see me go after next? I did check stripers off the list. Let me know down in the comments section down below. Thank you so much for watching and peace.